Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to build and paint a 1 to 72 scale model from Italieri, the most produced supersonic fighter jet of all times, the MiG-21. The kit is ok. The plastic sprues are made in Japan. It has uh, some nice details, but has a few fitting problems. Not a big issue here. But the big setback is the canopy, which doesn't fit if you want a closed position. So naturally, I choose to use the open position for that reason. First I began to assemble the interior, which was pretty straightforward. The kit also includes a pilot, which is always a nice addition. After I finished assembly the pilot, I start working on the engine. It requires some sanding and gap filling with Mr. Dissolved Putty. Then, of course, sanding. After assembly, it followed the painting. I used a Romanian pilot picture as reference. And a classic Russian one for the plain interiors. The color of choice was uh, Amo MiG interior turquoise. The ejectable seat was painted with Vallejo mid grey. I applied the Tamiya brown wash. After that, the pilot meet the cockpit. The mine instrument panel was primed with black primer from Vallejo, then sealed with satin varnish, then I applied the decals. It was the turn of the engine to be painted. I used Vallejo metal color aluminium for base, burned iron and the exhaust manifold for nozzle tip. I started preparing the fuselage for assembly with some dry fitting, sanding, gap filling and again sanding, then dry fitting and so on. I then painted the interior of the fuselage, which will not be accessible after the assembly, with the same interior turquoise as I used before. The first wheel bay was painted with the same color. In the Romanian paint scheme, it should be mid-gray, but consider it an artistic touch. The inferior tip of the air intake was painted with a custom-made tin golden color such as the Lancer variant of the MiG-21. I sealed all the painted parts with matte varnish and started the final fuselage assembly. I 
have to remind you about uh, the nose weights. Don't forget them because you will have a tail sitter playing and it's not okay. I use some steel balls but you can use fishing leads or any heavy material you have. I super glue them in place that pointy tip of the air intake cover helps. After the fuselage was assembled together, it followed some gap filling and sanding. The gun sight head up display is next, followed by the front part of the canopy. The rest of the canopy was taken to a customization process, as you can see in these dry fitting tests. Next I take care of the wings, I drill some holes for the armament pylons, making a little mistake here, but I will correct it later. I sanded the drilled holes and uh, rescribed some panel lines. The wings are assembled from the two parts. After the glued wings are dried, I fit the last details of the aircraft tail. External fuel tanks are next to assembly. This model will have air brake open. After masking the canopy and water painted parts, I was priming the model with a grey Mr. Surfacer 1500. Then I realized that I should mount the pylons and the two barrel cannon. I should be doing that before priming. Some corrections were made to the fuselage, including a small gap with the wings.
then I start to mask the canopy with Tamiya masking tape, preparing it for painting. I started to paint the airplane using lacquer paints from Hataka. For the belly of the beast I used UN Blue. While I mask the painted belly, did you know that this plane was cheaper to make than the BMB-1 APC? After I masked the belly, I painted the upper surface with white grey. I used blue tack from Bostik for the margins of the masking, otherwise known as poster glue. The next color I use is grey. After grey I use dark ghost grey. Then the fun part begins, unmasking the painted surface. To clean up the residual adhesive I used the same blue tack, tapping the surface until it was clean. It was followed up by painting the exterior of the engine with metal colors from Vallejo. Mine color was steel, followed by x housed manifold in the same manner that I painted the internal part of the engine. I sealed the model with Vallejo satin varnish. Next was the turn of the decals to be transferred. I used Amomig solution for this, first set then fix. Some decals were needed to be pressed into the panel lines.
more details are to be painted on the model. The landing gear base and the lights and the cannon two barrels. The bay were painted with mid grey, the light socket with chrome and the cannon with gunmetal. I painted the ring from the nose with the same combination of Alejo colors used at the interior. The same color was applied to the fixed part of the canopy margin. and to the mobile part of the canopy. Then the pitot tube is painted with flat black and the tip with grey white. It's time to take off the mask from the canopy and correct the eventually painting mistakes. I forgot to tell you that uh, the first to be painted were the external fuel tanks, so it will be the first to be weathered also. I start with Tamiya Brown panel line. Then with a cotton swab moistened into enamel thinner, I rub off the excess wash. Some chipping will add the visual value to the model, so I proceed doing it. Looking at the reference photos, I noticed that the parachute housing is not painted, so a metal look will do the job. After that, panel line washing was in place. It was time consuming, but the result was worth it. After wiping out the excess, I started on the upper part of the model.
the panel line washing, I added some oil leaks and started to blend them in. This was done using oil colors and using a flat brush barely moistened into enamel thinner. For some leaks I used the airflow direction, for some the gravitational direction as I see fit. After that I added some dust effect to the wheels and tires. I glued it in place the last details, including the canopy, to which I made a custom sustaining arm from styrene bars. I mentioned the landing lights before, it's time for the clear parts to be attached to them. That was all, but not before the final coat of varnish. This time I use VMS 4K matte varnish. Now enjoy the final result. I hope you like it. If you did, please give it a like. You can also share and subscribe, it will help me a lot. Cheers, see you next time.